Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. I'm back yet again with another message. I truly thank God for this day. I really do. And I thank God for you. I thank God for this opportunity to share another message. <laughs> now, this message, brothers and sisters, talking about the six hardest pills to swallow, naturally and spiritually. Now, brothers and sisters, the reason why I came up with this title, because I know you're probably saying, where did she get this? <laughs> where did the genesis of this uh, subject come about? Well, it came about when I was literally taking my vitamins. I took a couple of different vitamins and I noticed that there was uh, maybe two or maybe one vitamin in there that was a huge vitamin to swallow. And I did not want to swallow that first. In fact, I was pushing it away and I was hoping, amen, that this wasn't a benefit to my body. But it was. I had to take it. I think it was, uh, one of them was a, a, a vitamin that was going to give me some energy. So I said, you know what? I need extra energy. Why not? So I eventually took it, but I'm telling you, it was hard going down. <laughs> and, um, you know, I definitely am not looking forward to, to taking it again, but again, you know, it's a price of being uh, healthy inside. Amen. So I do encourage you all to take your vitamins. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think I want to get started right about now. I want to talk about on the spiritual side and again, on the natural side, brothers and sisters in life, there are times when we will be facing giants and we don't want to uh, face them. It's hard. It's hard to deal with certain things. It's hard to um, go through certain things in life. And sometimes we avoid different things like the plague. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, it's only when we face adversity. It's only when we are tried in the fire. Anybody can say they love the Lord. Anybody can wear their uh, Christian uh, outfit, so to speak. But it's only when you are tried in the fire, it shows who's who. And I believe that's why God gives us different adversities, different trials, different persecutions, and different tests in our lives to bring out what? The best in us. Amen. And to what? Refine our walk with him. He wants refinement, brothers and sisters. And in order for us to be true generals, if you would, in this walk, in this war, we have to swallow certain pills. And I want to go over it. The first pill that is hard to get down is the pill of truth. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> The pill of truth, brothers and sisters, telling the truth, hearing the truth, walking in truth, believing truth, 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 truth. Who to believe? We're living in a world with a lot of knowledge, but not enough wisdom. We're living in a world with little truth, but a lot of facade, a lot of fakers, a lot of counterfeits. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that God is is the truth. You can trust him. You can trust his word. You can trust his reputation and you can trust the fact that he died on that cross for you and for me for a reason. Brothers and sisters, it's hard for us to find truth in, you know, a lot of God's word especially if our heart is not in the right place. I heard a brother, uh, you know, a brother in the Lord, and you know who you are, brother. Praise the living God for you. I've learned tremendously from you. But he was talking about in his video, he's also a YouTuber, he talks about a hardened heart. And I believe, brothers and sisters, that it's hard for us to, uh, you know, get down that pill of truth because our hearts, amen, a lot of times, whether you be an atheist or you even be a believer, it's hard sometimes when God's word, amen, has scriptures that provoke your spirit to change or that step on your toes, so to speak, or step on your ego or steps on your pride, so to speak. We won't, we don't want to hear the truth. The truth hurts. But brothers and sisters, once we swallow that pill of truth, once we walk in God's truth, whew, I just get so excited because breakthrough, amen, is on its way. God is the truth. His word is true. Brothers and sisters, I want to move on to the next one because it's already about five minutes and I'm just getting started. The second one is submission. Ooh, wait. 
Now, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, I'm not telling you about these six pills and not being honest with the fact that these pills, even for myself sometimes, amen, it's hard to swallow. Huh? So we are all in this together. We got to gulp this thing down. Amen. We got to get it down. I'm, I, listen, even if it takes a gallon of water to get it down, <laughs> we got to get it down with some prayer and some diligence. And the next one again is submission. Brothers and sisters, we got to submit. A lot of people don't want to submit to God. A lot of people don't want to submit to their spouse. Women. It's hard sometimes for us to submit to our husbands. Huh? Am I talking to any women out there? In YouTube land, sometimes we don't want to submit to authority, spiritual or governmental authority. We want to just run those red lights when we know, you know, that yellow is a bit orange. We want to go just right on through. Why? Because we don't want to submit. Brothers and sisters, submission is the key to pleasing God. Because as long as we submit, we are saying, God, your way, not my way, let your will be done. Do you realize that Jesus Christ himself had to submit? Oh, yeah. When he was about to get on that cross, what did he say? What did he say? He said, oh, father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, Thy will be done. In other words, I'll do it your will, Father. I'll, I'll do it your way, Father. But you know what? He's not. In other words, he's not looking forward it to to drinking that cup, so to speak, or to you know, you know, sacrificing or getting on that cross or going through the beatings. He he will do it, but it's not something he's you know jumping up and down about because he knows it, this is a tremendous. Uh, uh, a situation that he's approaching, but he, what he had to submit to God's will and God's authority. Amen. On that cross, God is not going to tell you, amen. The truth. God is not going to tell you to submit without experiencing that himself. Third one. Third one is trust. Brothers and sisters, we have to put our trust in God. It's hard for us to trust people. It's hard for us to trust God. We're coming up against a tough situation in life and, you know, how this bill's going to get paid and, you know, you got more month than money. <laughs> and you, you're like, oh, man, I done bought too much stuff. But they had the super sale and I had to, you know, buy bulk. But no, now, you know, when the bills are coming in, you got to trust God. Well, brothers and sisters, the bottom line is you should have trusted him when he said do it his way. You should have trusted his word when he said do it his way. But no, we want to do it our way. But yet we have to find a way. To trust and believe, yet again, he's going to get us out of this tough situation. We have to trust. Brothers and sisters, we also have to use wisdom. We also have to know, brothers and sisters, that God's way is the best way. And trust sometimes is hard, even in relationships. We don't want to trust the one that we love because of our past hurts. Or, you know, we, 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 we are in a relationship with a friend or a co-worker or this person and we trusted them with a secret and they betrayed you what do we do well we swallow the next pill <laughs> which is forgiveness <laughs> brothers and sisters not a lot of people want to forgive they don't want to forgive they would rather Wear that unforgiveness outfit to it rips and you look like little off and any. They don't want to forgive brothers and sisters, but yet God says he will forgive you of your sins. But if you don't forgive others of their sins and trespasses against you, you know, he will not forgive you. So brothers and sisters, this is serious. Forgiveness is serious, but yet we don't want to forgive. We want to hold that seed in that bitterness, which is a form of witchcraft. And check my video out on that. Bitterness and unforgiveness is a form of witchcraft. Check that video out. Powerful video. God wants us to forgive, brothers and sisters. He wants us to forgive. Brothers and sisters, the next pill is self-control. 
Brothers and sisters, it's hard to have self-control living in a society where anything goes. Everybody just wants to please themselves. Everybody wants to get ahead of everybody. Everybody wants to have the latest gadgets. Everybody wants to be heard, be seen, be known, be noticed. What about self-control? So many people taking selfies and so many people are selfish. But what about self-control? Sometimes God just wants us to sit down quietly and not be seen. Sometimes God, amen, wants us to be heard. Hear our voice. Hear God's word through us. Make a difference. Instead of being plastered in front of a screen, instead of being in this news, in that news, God's word is true, brothers and sisters. God's word is true. Do you know that God's word is true? We need to crucify this flesh. We need to have self-control. A lot of people walking around looking half naked. No self-control. Brothers and sisters, we want to talk about the next one. And that's the last one. I'm counting them up. I'm hoping I got six. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> I want to make sure, y'all. The last one is what? Rejection. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, listen, isn't that a tough pill to swallow? The pill of rejection. We don't want to get rejected, but don't you know that the world rejected the Lord, that the world rejected God. All of these pills, God knows well too much about, but are you willing to get rejected? Are you willing to stick your neck out only to get it disrespected for the truth of God, for being ambassadors for God's kingdom, for being evangelists for God's purpose? you got to get rejected. Do you really think a lot of people in this sin sick society want to hear truth, want to hear the word, want to hear about heaven and hell? They don't want to listen. They're having too much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brothers and sisters, rejection is something as a child of God that you will experience all too well. Why? Because not a lot of people, amen, want to submit. Not a lot of people want to forgive. Not a lot of people want to trust. Not a lot of people have self-control. And not a lot of people want to believe. They don't want to believe. Brothers and sisters, these pills are designed to be tough. They're designed to be tough. Because not a lot of people have the guts to swallow these pills. Do you have the guts, brothers and sisters, to swallow these pills? Straight, no chaser, just straight down. No orange juice, no cranberry juice, no joy juice. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about with that joy juice. Y'all better put it down, huh? Stay out them bars, stay out them clubs. Stay out. <laughs> brothers and sisters, I pray in the name of Jesus that you find that while you swallow these pills... That is not only doing your mind and your heart good, but it's also doing your spirit and your eternal soul good. Bless the living God. Do it God's way and you will get God's results. Bless the living God.